Hey everybody and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing my pan those eyeshadows. I also want to switch this pan project up a little bit and I'm going to introduce something new. So the first palette that I want to talk about is my Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette. In this one we're working on, to be honest, arguably the most easiest shade. Um, I used up a shade like this last year in my pan those eyeshadows or either that or the year before relatively quickly. But I'm happy to say that in this update, I did hit pan on this. I actually hit pan on this a couple of weeks ago now. Well, yeah, a week or two ago now. Just take my brush in there and do a light dusting all over my eyelid to just set my concealer. And sometimes I wasn't even doing that. If I wasn't wearing eyeshadow, I wasn't going in and setting this. So my main goal this month that I had was even if I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I need to be setting my concealer or my foundation or an eyeshadow primer with this shade and that is what I did and that's how I hit pan on it and I think in future if I get another shade like this in this project I just need to remember to use it and set my concealer with it because it will just make it go so much quicker. Yeah I hit pan on this a couple of weeks ago and I was very very chuffed when I did um, and it's a decent size amount of pan. The pan is very very thin right in the middle around here but the two edges are still up quite high but like I said, I'm just chuffed to have pan in it, if I'm honest, and to have some progress going in this project pan, finally. Very exciting news is I hit pan on one other shade, and oh my god, this has been in here since the beginning, the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon Palette. I finally, finally, finally hit pan on Bordeaux. This is the shadow that if I did not hit pan on it, I was not coming to give you guys an update until it had pan. I remember how long it took me to hit pan on Almond Truffle and I used this every single day with this palette for probably a year or two straight and then I hit pan on that. So it's an absolute miracle that I've managed to hit pan on Bo Bordeaux. The, the pans, like they look small, right? Because they're all like little love hearts. It's really cute, see? And they look like they're gonna be really small pans. But I swear to you, it feels like the biggest never ending hole of pan ever. I use this most of the time as a deepening out of the corner. I have a tiny bit of it out here at the moment um, in this eye look and that's how I was using it. I actually was making it even darker though because I was using a lot more of this eyeshadow. I was actually bringing it like halfway through the eye and then having it all really really dark on the outer corner because I was determined to use this one up and I actually hit pan on this getting ready this morning. Talk about the Beauty Bay Everything You Need Bright Palette because this is my least used colour this month. Even though I love this colour and yes I have used it like five six times this month, I need to be using it a little bit more consistently than that to get a genuine good amount of use out of this. What I love doing with this shade is literally putting it in the outer corner through my crease, blending it softly to make it kind of like almost a pink shade. And then I just put this shade here, Lemonade, all over my lid and I just blend them in together until they're like ombre. So it's like a pink lemonade kind of look. I feel like you're not going to be able to see much of a difference. There still is a dip right in the middle of the B from Beauty, like for the Beauty Bay stamp. Um, you can see it here pretty well in this angle, I feel. But yeah, there still is a decent like small dip formed in there. I would like to see that dip expand a little bit this upcoming month. This is the colour book. This one is the shade, this is the colour block in O2. Um, and basically how these work, if I open them, you have one whole side of shimmers and then one whole side of mattes. But the shade in here that I am working on is this one down here. Um, again, I actually have this on my eyes today on the outer corners, making it a little bit darker. Um, I really like this shade, actually. It's a really nice shade. I do have quite a few shades like this in my collection. And we have a really decent dip going in here. Like, I feel like I've got a pretty good dip in here. Um, and I've also made good progress on this shade here. But I am, if I'm not using this one for this particular eye look or like a smokier shade or a smokier look, I actually use it as an eyeliner, just a standalone warm brown eyeliner. Finally, I have my I Heart Revolution Chocolate Nudes palette as well in here. And in here, I'm working on the shade Bordacious. This has the biggest dip in it. Like, look, look at that dip. It's like a crater in here. Um, I feel like this one should definitely have pan on it next update. Although saying that, I don't know how deep these pans are. I've never hit pan on one of these palettes from 
a hat revolution and i actually love using this one just as a one and done shadow like i just put this all over my eye and in my crease a bit of mascara and i'm out the door and it looks really nice it's good shade for that this is the shade that i have as a base shade all over my lid and all through my crease for this look here i use it as like kind of like the transition and then it's soft blending on the edges that's how i create this look quite a lot um, but yeah, I feel like I'm getting really decent progress out of this one and I do really enjoy it. So I've hit goals on two palettes, um, leaving me three shadows left, well, three shadows. So that means that I would be generating in two shades. However, I've decided I want to decrease the amount of one pan shadows that I'm using from a palette. So I'm only going to generate in one more palette one more new shade i think four is good for me to focus on numbers one through to 428 and then i'm just gonna tap randomize one three nine let's just have a look what that shade is make sure it's not one i've had in here already okay well i'm quite excited about the palette that i've just rolled in however it is a newer palette to my collection so it's gonna take me a while to hit pan on the shade one three nine on my spreadsheet comes from my XX Revolution tuxedo palette. This one I got gifted from my good friend Katie. I actually have played with this palette quite a few times and I really like the formula. It's definitely one I want to keep in my collection. The shade 139 is the fourth one in on this palette. So and this shade right here is kind of a very interesting like brown, cool toned kind of olive looking brown. A really cool toned shade and what i'm going to do quickly is i'm just going to swatch all the shades together for you guys and then i'm going to talk about the new mix up as to as what is going to be replacing the fifth palette slash fifth shade that i would normally generate in okay so i've quickly just gone ahead and swatched all the shades that i have so i have four randomly generated ones and then i'll explain the mix up for you guys so this is what my color palette is looking like it actually is looking pretty good the only thing that i will say is this is obviously a lot more cool tone than the rest of the selection that i have i think i'll be able to use this cool tone one as a liner as a deepening shade as quite a few things i think i could actually get away with this one quite easily and now that i've looked at this color shade range i have it's not that bad it's not that bad anymore i'm not panicking as much i'm quite happy with this selection of colors actually i think they're going to work quite well together and I could really neutralize down the red with these shades. Let me explain the mix up that I'm gonna add in here. So it's just editing me, quickly popping it in. I realized I didn't really explain what the mix up was very well in this video. As you guys can probably tell, it's kind of like a pan that palette for the Soap X Makeup Revolution palette. That's kind of like what I'm rolling it in for. However, its main purpose isn't to be completely panned. Like it's not a pro, it is a pan that palette, but it's not got the same level of commitment because if I get bored of this palette I'll roll in a different palette and basically what it means is that this palette is going to be a staple palette that will always stay in my Panos eyeshadows rotation and I'll see how much progress I can make on this one palette alongside using the other four shades I have randomly generated from the wheel. I just want to pop in and explain like it is kind of like a pan that palette but it is mainly being used to use up in conjunction with the other palettes i'll just let you guys go on to the past version of me it's basically being used to pair the shades that i get generated into this palette so let me run through what we have going on with each shade so the first shade penguin was a matte white shade this is all completely gone i had pan in it and then the whole shade crumbled when i dropped this palette pancakes this one has a very decent dip formed in it. You can see the outlines of the grid pan down the bottom there. The long is fairy lights. This one is kind of like a weird crumbly formula. I'd say these two both have that like weird, wet, kind of almost crumbly formula in them. Fairy lights I actually have in my inner corner today. Um, I really like it as that kind of inner brightening shade. I think I could hit pan on this in a couple of months time. Next shade along is pink champagne. This was one of my favorite shades in this palette and I'm very surprised that I never hit pan on this when I was using this on a daily basis. Moving on is iced coffee. This one, as you guys can see, has a huge pan in it. it Would definitely take a, couple, a while to use this up. Then let's move on to the next row down so here we have grow old which is a really nice kind of in between copper and champagne shade like it's really on the edge it's quite orangey do you like this one there's a decent dip formed in there as you guys can tell and then next one along is sparks fly which is like more of your true champagne gold i would say um this one's more of a copper this one's more of a gold but yeah they're both gold shades 
The next one up is Smoky Bronze and it's kind of like what it says, it's like a dirty gold shade um, or a dirty bronze shade. I've used this a few times as you can see but not enough to form like a real dip in here. Next one along is the purple, this is Mixed Berries. This isn't my favourite purple but I definitely could get some decent use out of this. This is Tiramisu. Tiramisu um, has a decent dip in there actually. I think I could hit pan on this one relatively soon as well. Um, Peaches already has a pan on, I really like this one. Um, moving down, we have Cloudberry. Um, again, another one that I could see myself hitting pan on, actually. I think I could hit pan on this one pretty easily. Uh, pumpkin as well. I think I could hit pan on this one as well. A little bit more on the red-toned side, like ready orange, but I do think it would be really, really nice for the summer. This one here is Pine Tree. I really, really, really like this green shade. Um, I think it's really unique, so I do like this one a lot petrol i haven't found a way to use this one yet um it has hard pan on as you can hopefully as you can see it has hard pan on it you can kind of see it here um so i will have to scrape the hard pan off however i've not found a way that i like this shade just yet so this might be one that i end up not having a go on and just saying this is going to be one that i just leave behind next up is pug a beautiful cool toned brown transition slash crease shade i'll definitely be able to hit pan on this one um, especially in mixed with this new shade here that I just pulled. Danger, which like I said before, I already have pan on. Could definitely, ooh, I can definitely see the pan expanding on this one. On here, we have Strawberry Sweets, which again has a very, very good pan in. I remember absolutely loving this. I've definitely tried better pink formulas now, but this is quite a nice shade. Um, and again, I can see me getting pretty good use out of here. These two, I haven't really touched in this palette, surprisingly enough. So the first one is, Fe yeah, is Festive Flame, and I haven't really tried using this one that much. Next to that is Copper Coin, which is your true copper. So this is like a copper gold kind of mix, and then this one's this one. Then next to this, you have Mug Cake, which, I mean, iconic name. I think I'll be actually, I think I'll be able to hit pan on this one pretty decently because I already have pan on the next shade over, which is Rosewood. We have Nightmare, which is a black. Now, I don't use black shadow. This is really contradictory for me, but I don't use black eyeshadow if at all. So I don't really have a use for a black shadow. However, I can use it as a shadow liner. I can use it as a deepening shade. I just need to stop having a fear of black. I'm not writing this one off the cards just yet because I am interested to see what I could do with this. I feel as though in the first month I could have pan in pancakes, fairy lights and pink champagne. I would like to see a bigger dip going in tiramisu and then a bigger dip in sparks fly and grow old together if not a pan on one of those two. So those are going to be my target areas. I don't really want to start too big and also some more use on mug cake. That's where I want to start. So there's quite a few shades I want to start off with. So yeah, those are seven target shades. So that's quite a lot to start off with. But I'm just so excited about getting to use this and getting more use out of this palette. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you're new around here. I'd like to see more videos from me. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye.